Hi everyone, today we're going to be learning how to identify the sweet gum, otherwise known as liquid ambar styrantha fluid, during the winter time. Sweet gum trees are native to the central and eastern United States and can grow to be about 60 to 80 feet tall. This species is known for its sweet sap and its lumber, however its most distinguishable feature is its fruit. Their fruit is a spherical cluster of capsules but is most commonly referred to as a gumball, and it tends to annoy anyone who has this species planted in their yard because sweet gum trees produce a lot of these gumballs. Each capsule on a gumball holds two seeds and matures in the fall. If we take a look at a wintering sweet gum tree, we can still see some of the gumballs hanging onto the branches. Besides the seeds, we also have the twigs, which the sweet gum has one of my favorite twigs. The twigs of this species are medium sized and can range from shiny green to yellowish brown in color. Most of the time they'll be more on the brown side. The apical bud of this species is very distinct. It is large and has shiny bud scales that remind me of a big beetle at the top of the twig. Now the lateral buds are much smaller than the apical bud and they're arranged in an alternating pattern. Additionally, we can see prominent lenticels on this twig, as well as very well-defined leaf scars with three bundle scars inside. On a fully grown sweet gum tree, the bark will be grayish brown, deeply furrowed, and have irregular ridges. Alright, thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed learning about sweet gum, otherwise known as liquid ambar styrantafloa with me. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you all in my next video.